He's oh, dude, he's saying that in like. Lord Zappy would look at him like. He's saying that as like a joke ish. No, dude, it's such bullshit. Like, look at the man who's saying it. Look at the source. That guy is not sitting there being like, guys, you have all access now. Go fuck up. As long as you got someone to take your back, go do whatever the fuck you want. That's how think, people are reading it. I don't think he it's said not what's that. But that's, I don't think he even. He did say, you guys are going to make a mistake. And. Hey, I agree with you. If you're going to make a mistake, you're a million dollar 21 year old. You're probably going to fuck up. But then, and I have no problem with that because they're going to fuck up. But you shouldn't be like, hey, here's my fall guy that's going to go to jail for me. Like, that's, I, I, that's, I don't that's, think he was kidding. I, I, I don't think he was kidding. I think he was saying that you guys are all young you know, mostly African American athletes who may not have the best um the best guidance when it comes to making decisions that millionaire millionaires make. So you're gonna have some C D characters in your crew. So since you are the nucleus of this crew, since you're the person funding this operation, why not have someone who is going going to sacrifice for you because he's I look and listen I'm paying for your Jordans I'm paying for your hotels I'm paying for you to sleep with women I'm paying for your alcohol you can do me the favor and fucking go to jail for me when we get stopped at the police for drunk driving First of all, you're in the NFL, so take an Uber or have the NFL driving service. But like, that's, what are you going to do? You get pulled over by a cop and you're like, hey man, let me change seats so my fall guy can take it? Yeah. Like, that's just not the way shit works. Or like, dude. let's say let's say you have like a, a hit and run situation. So, Steph, you're my fall guy. Hit and one, run, I hit the side of Sunset Gower stages. Who was driving? Not me, Steph. Lance, Lance Armstrong's girlfriend took the fall for him last year in Tahoe. I would be like, fuck you, I don't care if you pay for my Jordans or sleep. Like, I am not going to jail for a hit and run like i'm sorry why not though I just why not like, because then my because what if you get injured the next season and you're no longer a millionaire and you can't fund me anymore now i have a felony on my record and my life is fucked. you guys are out of your fucking minds out of your point he was not saying go legitimately yeah get a fucking fall guy what do you, he says it like five times. But do you hear, do you see his, just, just follow me here. Do you see his tone and his delivery in that? Then when he says, every choice you make is going to affect your yep, family. He does say that. Your mom, it can affect your kids. Totally. So it's like, it's too completely, it's like, we're going to start this off. You guys need a fucking fall guy because you're going to fuck up. So make sure you got a fall Let guy because you're yes. going to fuck up. Now, so don't fuck up. Realize you got to get every single one of these decisions right. So therefore, it negates that you're not going to need a fucking fall guy. Yes. Well, I think he also realized what he had just said. No. And no. was trying to clean it up. No, he's so not no, doing that, no. man. He was being fucking real. And we are so fucking sensitive to like I, what people say these days. Someone captures it, posts it, and this not is, in the this room. This is a year old, too. Well, so, so the NFL didn't have any problem with it until it became, you know, super yeah, public. Gonna, right. They didn't have a problem with it. Well, that was my big thing I even wrote down. Bunch. Why is it coming out now? Yeah. Why is it coming Someone's out now? panties got in a fucking bunch now, and they have to, like, say something. <laughs> Someone and, says, who is Chris just, Carter's father? I don't know. You're talking about fantasy football teaching our youth stupid shit. This is a guy, a very well-respected Hall of Famer, saying some of the dumbest shit to very... Like, to grown the, men that are about to make, they're like 21, they're 22, junior, they're, they're very sensitive grown to like, men gonna like that Chris are going to make some bad fucking I agree, choices, Marcus. so they need to know what they need to do, and they need to hear that shock, and then get the reality. Hey, why doesn't Chris Carter just say, don't be a fucking idiot. Because that's not make reality. Sure that's and, not and reality. If, you, if you had 21, well, hey, you guys you, won't let me finish. Okay. Because now you're taking me out of context. Okay. Making sure you have a good crew. Maybe have a guy who's with you who's not a dumbass like the rest of your crew that is watching your back. Because not to be arrested for you, but, think but about to be like, dude, we should bounce right freaking now. Or if there's a fight, <laughs> break that so shit up. It's so crazy but because legitimately, who in their right fucking mind is going to be like, all right, yo. So the four of you guys, okay. So God forbid anything happens, you my fall guy. Like who like no one's gonna have that fucking conversation anyway. Well, I don't know. You can't say that though, because think about think about when you're twenty years old and you're in college. Like and think about we can't we can't even think that way. We never had ten, fifteen million dollars as twenty years. Well maybe you just have, but I didn't have twenty <laughs> But it could still happen. You got all of us something we could like break out. And now you're now you're some you're some it's super famous. But, but our backgrounds don't suggest that we would have the kind of people around us 
that we would be living the kinds of lives where we would need a fall guy. Like these guys come from different circumstances. I've been arrested five times. <laughs> Have you? Yes. For what? I'm not telling her. <laughs> 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 You've been arrested five times. dry snitch. See, but you're, like, this is why you're so sensitive about it. Because you've been arrested five fucking times. Don't you yeah. understand? And I'm the first time you go to friends, jail, don't fuck up. Like, I'm the idiot. I should take responsibility for myself, which I did. But if you were a millionaire, you had someone in your camp who would take... If you were... I would never ask Trevor, any one of my friends Trevor, to ever If do you that, had a show ever. on TLC or a show on freaking Bravo... ABC. And, on, on anything, and you were the, the head talent, and someone in your passenger seat was, you know, like, dog, you know what? We, we drank too much. I'll take the fall for you. Like, fuck yeah! Take the, yes, Trevor! I am a, a loyal son of a bitch. And oh, I good luck on the voice. I guarantee you. You're not a loyal son of a bitch. If you're so you would get the DUI, I'll lose you. the job, lose the three million. You, would, you wouldn't lose. Yes. No, you yes, would not. Yes, I would. Well, first of all, I would be yeah. smart enough to fucking get an Uber or. You got arrested five times. Oh. Yeah. But not for DUI. Oh, okay. I thought you said five times. Just like <laughs> shit like that. We're talking about Chris Carter's um, comments to the NFL symposium last year about I'm just saying that having a fall I feel guy. Like Everybody had a fall This would have been a real issue. Why didn't we hear about it a year ago? Thank you. Well, somebody saw it. So like it, it's again this whole stuff that all the like with incognito in the locker room. I talked to uh Serim, whatever the fuck his name is. Oh, Ephraim. 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 And it was like shit like that about him saying like the homophobe whatever he said, I forgot exactly. Stuff like that used to happen in the locker room all the fucking time. But because now it gets out because everybody's a little fucking reporter with their phone, it's a huge story. They're saying we're Years angry. Ago, They're saying we're angry on Periscope. <laughs> Years ago, they would see that, they take care of it in the locker room, never be a fucking issue because it's a, it's a team issue. So it's like some of these things that are not really an issue for everyone to discuss now are because of social media. So I think it doesn't relate. Like what? Like you, everything that coaches or some of these role models tell these NFL athletes, you think everything they tell them is politically correct? Yeah, exactly. No, they, I, I would they say never no more say caffeine that. for you, Steph. On I would Periscope. never say I don't that. Do caffeine. She doesn't. Do I just caffeine. think if you are a Chris Carter, and I agree with you, why is this coming out now? It's it's stupid. Right. It was this was in 2014, but it has come out now. So now people are like, why the hell would Chris Carter say something like that? He gave that? them good advice, I think. I think, it's, I, think, I think it's terrible advice. What's interesting, though, the, what, the word fall guy, what, that would normally have been, let's say back in the day, the bodyguard. Yes, you know, true. So, like, you go somewhere, the bodyguard's the one that's going to get into the fight. That's right. Right? So, that's, I, I feel what you're saying, like, mm, but. Um, I, mean, I, think it's, it's, I don't think it's that. The way that he was just so real after that, it took, like, the, the fact that this man had to apologize so much, and they didn't trust. I believe. I think this is the bottom line for me. I believe his intentions were all good. I and too. all he was yeah. trying to do was to lead those young men, those young men. in the right direction. Yep. So therefore, th <laughs> therefore, that's why it's okay for me. Hey, I don't think he was ever thinking anything negative, And I think he was trying to do the right thing. I just, I don't think you should ever tell anybody... To have a scapegoat for you. So you don't think that. But that's kind of like saying, like, listen, that's like saying, okay, we're gonna go out and drink, so don't don't have a designated driver. That's kind of well, how I, I felt like he was trying to kind of like to have some. Not I, maybe the, the words were wrong, fall guy. See, I think it's kind of like okay, if you're gonna go out and drink, have someone you know that's gonna drive. And that's what he said but, afterwards. But, he was saying maybe I should have set a designated driver right. or someone in your camp. Well, that but, but that's, that's not that. what he meant though, because look, I, I mean, so, again, yeah. like he I even said, go to jail. We'll pay for you. Yeah, to get you out. If, 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 I mean, if, if I am funding this operation, you damn right, you better go to jail for me. Look, Trevor. If Sorry. All of, us, if all of us in the Sorry. NFL, right? We all go out drinking. Well, not all of us in the NFL, but let's say for you in the NFL, and we all go out drinking, right? And we're all drunk. Why would I let you drive? Why would, exactly. I drive. I'm not the NFL. Let right, so, so, drive drunk. So I'm the fall guy. So if something happens, right? We get pulled over. I'm gonna go to jail or whatever, cause you have more to lose than me. We're all drunk, though. And we so all I'm have the fall guy. And, and, so what he's saying is, okay, then we can bail you out. And, I can and, and, you and, out. and if you're in jail now, how am I going to eat my next meal? Because you're paying for me to survive. Let me tell you, I have a lot of friends who uh, who have NFL cousins and friends who live and mooch off that player. And we have fun when we party with them. But if that player, Why you know. Why not Huh? <laughs> well, my whole thing is like, hey, it is what it is. 
But these guys, like, if you become the fall guy and you do get a DUI for this for this player, right. and then he does get hurt. Right, right. And that would suck. You're right. I mean, I then, then now you have a felony, yeah. and your whole job was partying with this dude. <laughs> and so now you have, like, nothing. Well, let's think. But, but if, if your only goal in life is to party with your friend who made it and you're not trying to make it, then do you really care that you have a felony? Like... You know what I'm saying? Like, you might care, but like, if your only mission in life is to be somebody's hype man because he's a, an NFL all, player, all you do is ride the coattails of yeah. someone else. You know, what I'm, you know, you're. It doesn't. Like, I understand your logic. I just don't know that place. Thanks for watching. Yeah, yeah I get it. I understand it, but I, mean, I don't think but the reality of it.